Well, now to our other top story, a security guard at an Apple store in Manhattan stabbed after a dispute over a mask requirement. Fox 5's Richard Giacobas takes a closer look at the challenges that can arise when you have to add COVID rule enforcer to your job title. The Apple store here in Chelsea has been shut down since last night after that security guard just doing his job was stabbed multiple times after he asked a customer to put on a mask. It's become too common these days. Everyday employees, whether at a restaurant or even an electronic store, playing the role of a police officer. These folks are our civilians. They're not law enforcement and they're doing the best work that they can. On Friday, a 37-year-old security officer at the Chelsea Apple store asked a male customer to please wear a mask while shopping, a company mandate in Apple stores across the U.S. The customer reportedly became enraged when police say he then took out a knife and stabbed the security officer once in the left arm and once in the forehead before running away. It's really difficult because security officers are in the front line and uh, as we all know, uh, violent crime is up triple digits and the police department is handcuffed trying to do their job. Former NYPD sergeant and security expert Manny Gomez says employees can't be expected to enforce rules without police interfering, especially when it comes to asking customers to mask up or show proof of vaccination. Just last month, a hostess at Italian restaurant Carmine's on the Upper West Side was attacked for asking a group of tourists to provide proof of the shot before entering the restaurant. In any event, they shouldn't be attacked, but certainly just because they're simply doing their job mandated by the city. Witnesses who saw that security officer get stabbed says he was bent over clutching himself before police arrived. They say that he is still in serious condition tonight at Bellevue Hospital. Meanwhile, that suspect is still out there. We also reached out to Apple to find out when this store will reopen, but we haven't heard back. We're in Chelsea, Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News.